Good morning everybody, sorry about my absence, I hope you didn't give my cover too much grief. As it's Christmas though, today we'll be looking at Terraria's North Pole. The weapon, not the place. This isn't a geography course, you know. On first glance, the North Pole appears to be a simple long spear with an ice-like blade at its top. However, when thrust towards a foe, the spear will manifest an entirely ice copy of itself that will take a long arc through the air towards its target, dropping razor shard ice fragments as it goes to injure a larger range of foes. It must be noted that the ice spear itself does little to no more damage than the ice shards it drops. To this end, it's likely that this weapon is more effective when used for area of effect rather than a directed attack. Whilst appearing to be a standard metal spear, it is clear that the North Pole has been enchanted by powerful frost magic. It may be possible that the ice blade in its crown may be the source of the enchantment, as it seems to be perpetually frozen and unable to melt even when exposed to heat. It could be though that if the blade were to be somehow removed or destroyed, the pole would revert to being no better than a blunted melee weapon. It is also possible that if the removed tip were embedded into another mount, then that weapon would take on similar ice powers. This idea is bolstered by the fact that there are many other ice weapons known to exist in Terraria, including the Ice Blade and the Ice Sickle. Research has shown that these weapons bear somewhat similar abilities to the North Pole, including but not limited to summoning ice projectiles from their tips. Furthermore, their blades seem to be constructed of the same unmeltable enchanted ice, so may share the same origin as the North Pole. This is mere speculation, however, as the blade and sickle are found randomly in the frozen wastes of Terraria, either in chests or possessed by simple beasts, with no direct evidence of their origin. The North Pole, however, has only ever been found to be possessed by the Ice Queen, a fierce avatar of the Icelands, which could not only mean that she had a hand in the origin of all ice weapons, but the North Pole may hold some significance among the armaments, a regal scepter of sorts. It is possible that the blades and sickles, with their focused projectile attacks, were handed out among her minions as standard arms, and the North Pole was used by the Queen as a weapon to deal damage over a much larger area, instilling her enemies with a great fear of her presence. As with many other artefacts of Terraria, there is little to no information about their origins, or history, so we are forced to speculate fairly heavily. However, I think it's obvious that the North Pole is no weapon of a mere foot soldier or unskilled raider, but a powerful scepter meant as much as a symbol of authority as it is a weapon. Carried by the Ice Queen herself and able to deliver damage over a wide area, the North Pole is clearly nothing to be on the wrong side of. Although despite being powerful, the enchantment used in the construction of this weapon seems to be quite common, which somewhat dampers its uniqueness. Regardless, in light of the evidence, the North Pole has been assigned an artifact rating of significant. Thank you very much everyone for listening today. If you're curious about magical enchantments, then I'm sure there's plenty of information you can look up. Just don't try any of it without the proper precautions. I learned the hard way with that one. You can subscribe if you want to keep up with the syllabus, or maybe even donate on Patreon if you don't want me half-assing these lectures and everybody's gone. Great. Class dismissed, I guess.